All right, I'm here today to demonstrate to you a little bit about what I've learned about the tying of a bowling. Now, I'm going to tie a bowling right before your very eyes here. And uh, this is a bowling. The whole thing that you see right here is a bowling, not just the part that binds it together, but the loop itself. A bowling is a loop in the end of the standing part of a line. Now, the purposes for it would be so that you could throw that loop, say, over a piling or over a bollard on a dock or a cleat or whatever, and you could then be able to still be able to get it off because some of the attributes of this knot are that no matter how hard you pull on this knot, it doesn't tighten up because the tension is on three of the lines coming into it, not just two. Now, the other thing that's a great thing about it is it doesn't slip out and it's very, very easy to untie. It just about falls apart when it's not under any particular tension. Now, there's different ways of tying it and the most common way that I've ever seen people taught is like a Cub Scout style. You would form a loop in the standing part of the line and then grab the bitter end and this would be referred to as the rabbit. And the rabbit comes up out of his hole, goes around the tree and gets scared and goes back down his hole and there you go. That's how it's tied. And the rabbit comes up out of his hole, goes around the tree and gets scared and goes back down his hole and there you go. That's how it's tied. So that's like what I would call the Cub Scout style. And then this would be like the Seaman style so that you don't have to feed the bitter end down, end down the hole. You've got a hold of the bitter end. You just cross the standing pot, fold it over like that, go around and down the hole and you have a bowling. Cross the standing pot, fold it over like that, go around and down the hole and you have a bowling. Now, there's another way to tie a bowling, and that is, is that you start exactly the same way, but instead of going around this way, you go around this way, and that's called a cowboy-style bowling. Now, you start exactly the same way, but instead of going around this way, you go around this way. Now, there's a difference between the two. In a bowling like this with a loop in the end, it doesn't seem to make much difference. So it's got the tension on three of the lines coming into it, like I had said, and there's only one bitter end that's not taut. And whether it's tied cowboy style or the first style that I showed you, it seems to act almost exactly the same way. Now that's not true if you were doing it like a sheet bend. Now like this exact same knot that you see right here is really exactly the way a sheet bend is tied. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how that's done. Now, first thing I'm going to do is just pick up another line here. Now, just so that you can see it much easier, I've got two different colors here. Now, that knot that I had just shown you or the part that binds it together was tied exactly like this. That's a seaman style bowling or a sheet bend because with this use, you can see it's got two bitter ends there and it's got only two lines coming into it. Now I'm going to show you something else. If it was tied cowboy style like this, you wouldn't want to tie two lines together, say tying your million dollar yacht up with this particular line or knot right here, even though people would say that that knot is a perfect bowling, and I would say that it is too, but watch this. That knot can be coerced right out of there like that. Now, say you were on the deck of a boat and you were approaching a pylon and you wanted to have part of this bowling tied already, what you would do would be you would take a bite in the line and then a loop around there like that at the bitter end. And then as you came up on the piling, you would simply put this line around the piling through that loop and then pull this and it will invert into a bowling like that. Pass it underneath here. Pass this over the top. Now, you're standing on the bow of the boat and you approach the piling. You throw your line around the piling 
and you go through here like so, then what you do is you pull tension on this end of the line and that knot will invert into a bowline.